Hello and uh, welcome. Today we are going to see how to provide multiple values to a store procedure parameter. We will look at different methods we can use to achieve this. The end goal is to use this store procedure in a SSRS report. So we are going to create a simple SSRS report to pass multiple values to this store procedure. So if this packs your interest, then stay tuned. There are three methods of passing multiple values to parameter. Method one uses XML variable. We save the parameter values to a simple XML node. And in the where clause, we query XML node for values. In the second method, we use dynamic SQL. We convert our SQL to text and append parameters to it. This is useful for smaller script, but if you have hundreds of lines of codes, then it can be tricky to maneuver. We will skip this method. And in the third method, we will use a function to pass in multiple values. All the logic resides in the function and we simply call it in the where clause. Okay, enough talk, let's dive into code. We have our code for the first store proc in Management Studio. We are creating a store procedure called USB underscore customer list XML. This store proc takes one parameter called cities. We are casting it as an XML and storing its values in a variable called cities XML. Then we have a select statement that selects few columns from AdventureWorks 2012 database view. And in the where clause, we are querying the cities XML node A to get the values. This is how we convert a string to multiple values in SQL Server. Let's execute this code to create the store proc. We can test our store proc to see if it is functioning as expected. We are going to execute the store proc and provide it a list of cities and see if it returns data for these cities. Here we go, it executed successfully and returned data for the cities we passed. This is method one. We will skip dynamic SQL and go over method three, which is using a function. This method requires a function called essence split parameter val. Let's go over the script of this function. In this method, uh, we will create a function called fn split parameter vals. It accepts two parameter, a list, and a split on parameter. And it returns a table variable. This function essentially split the list of cities we provide at each occurrence of a comma, then each city value is stored in a table variable. Let's execute this code to create this function. We are going to create the same proc as we did in method one, but with few changes. We have changed the name of the proc, and this time around, we are supplying the fn split parameter val function in the where clause. Let's execute the code to create this proc. Let's test our proc to see if we can pass multiple values to city's parameter. I am going to paste pre-written code here. First, we will test the function. So we are declaring a variable called cities and assigning it a list of cities. Then we pass this variable to the function. So let's execute this block of code to see if it returns three city values. It is working as expected. We can pass the same city list to our store proc and execute it. It should return data for these three cities. So this is how we pass multiple values to a store proc parameter with the help of a function. Now off to Visual Studio where we will create an SSRS report 
that will use this proc. Let's create a new project. Make sure to select Report Server Project. I will name this solution Store Proc Multi Value Demo. Click OK to create the solution. First thing first, we need a data source connection to AdventureWorks database. I will add a shared data source connection. Right click on Share Data Source folder and add a new data source. Click Edit and provide the server name here and we will use Windows authentication and under databases I'll select AdventureWorks 2012 database. Be sure to name your data source connection. We can also create a shared data set but I'll ignore that for now. Let's add a report by right-clicking on Reports folder and add a new item. Choose Report Item and give it a name. Right-click on Data Source folder and add in a data source. Click on Shared Data Sources and select our shared data source, DS AdventureWorks. Oops, I forgot to name this data source, but we can rename it by going into data source properties and providing a name. Let's add data set for our report. Right click data set folder and select use embedded data source. Query type is store proc and select a data source and click on drop down to locate our store proc. I am going to use the second store proc that uses the function. I'll click on the data source to rename it. Give it an appropriate name, for example, ds underscore customer by city. Let's add data to our report. First, we will insert a table in our report and then drag columns from our data set uh, inside this table. Okay, once done, uh, we can delete the unused columns. Also, we can style our column header by adding background color and bold font. I will change column width so text can fit in by dragging columns to the right. We know email and customer address columns are wider, so give them enough space. Okay, our report is ready, and uh, we can head to our parameters. SSRS automatically picked up city's parameter. We can adjust this parameter's properties. Right-click on city's parameter and select parameter properties. We can manually type in the city values, but it will take too long. So we can pull in distinct values from database to display them in the drop-down list. Let's head back to Management Studio and grab distinct city values. I am going to copy our view that we used and only select distinct cities from this view. Execute the code to check the values and also let's sort them in ascending order. Let's order our city by adding an order by clause. Let's copy this code and bring it to Visual Studio. Right click and add a new data set for this query. Name this data source as distinct cities and use embedded data source. Use AdventureWorks data source and paste in our query. Now we can go back to Cities Parameter Properties, select Available Values option and Get Values from a Query option. We will select our Cities dataset and select City from, for Label and Values. Before we close this dialog box, click on General tab and make sure that this is a multi-select parameter. Select the checkbox that says Allow Multiple Values. We are done tweaking our parameter. Let's preview our report. 
For cities parameter, let's select multiple values and see if report pulls in data for these cities. Okay, here we go. It pulls in data for the selected cities. This is how we create a store proc with multi-select parameter and as well as how we use it in a SSRS report. Thank you for joining me and I hope you find this video useful. Be sure to subscribe and post any question that you may have.